at the Relief Factor Studio in beautiful Southern California. I am a retired United States Army colonel. I'm the senior columnist at townhall.com. I am the author of this book, The 21 Biggest Lies About Donald Trump and You. It's been out for about two weeks. You need to buy it if you haven't. But you know what else I am, folks? I am a noted Los Angeles trial lawyer, and those skills will come in handy today because I'm going to get to the rundown, and it's all law-related in some way or form. And we've got great guests to talk about it. we got Andy McCarthy coming in. David Drucker's going to be here. Byron York. Andy No. You've got to hear Andy No. That's the next hour. Florida Senator Rick Scott and acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf will be joining us in the third hour. So you, you basically need to just... Turn on your radio and leave it, because if you don't, you are not going to be informed about what is going on. But let me tell you what's going on. It is all law all the time right now here on the Hugh Hugh Pro radio program, because that's what's happening in the news. And I, in the next segment, I'm going to talk a little about the uh, uh, civil law and the uh, uh, Fox lawsuit, the Ed Henry and uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity thing. I'll talk about that next segment a little bit from the perspective of what I do, which is a civil litigator. What would I do if I got that complaint on my desk and how I would look at it? So you guys want to stick around for that. But let's talk about what else is going on in the world of criminal law. The first thing is a tragedy, a terrible murder of uh, uh, Judge Salas's son and the critical wounding of her husband, she's a federal district court judge in New Jersey, uh, shot by a guy dressed as a FedEx delivery man uh, a couple days ago. And yesterday the police found who they believe is the killer. Turns out to be a lawyer who appeared in front of her, uh, appeared a little bit obsessed with her. Now you may think, what the heck is a lawyer? This is crazy talk. And yeah, a little bit. Now it's a hugely serious thing. When somebody uh, attacks a federal judge or her family, it is, you know, it is red alert, all hands on deck, general quarters, battle stations for the federal government because that is an attack potentially that is attack on our justice system this seems to be a nut and and you're thinking are, are, a nut a lawyer who's a nut look i hang around in courthouses okay there are lawyers who are nuts i mean just just bonkers just weirdos just like everybody else you know a Passing the bar exam does not is not the same thing as passing a sanity check. Okay, this is you know, this is rare. It's rare it gets that bad, but uh, you know I remember uh, my mom's law office and she had a, a law partner who was a green beret. And when I was in college, uh, uh, he said, "Hey, I got to move my office from here to there. I'll throw you guys a few bucks and a case of beer if you move the stuff for me." Oh boy, that's great! And I'm moving his desk. I open up. And um, there's a, uh, you know, there's an automatic pistol in there. And I'm thinking, and I was like, Doug, why, 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 what's with the gat in your desk? He's like, this is a, this is a crazy business, Kurt. You got to take care of yourself. So, uh, you know, our, our, our thoughts and prayers need to be with uh, uh, the judge and her family in this terrible, terrible time. Uh, it, like I said, it looks like it was a lone nut. Instead of a, a calculated attack on our judicial system, but you know who who knows who knows in this terrible time because there seem to be calculated attacks on our judicial system and some by participants in our judicial system. You remember the McCluskeys? That's that family that was attacked in their home in Missouri by a bunch of rioters who decided to break down a wall, a fence, trespass. And uh, he comes out, and he's he's got an M16. She had, I, I looked like a Walther PPK. Now, let's put aside my serious questions about their trigger discipline. Okay? She's got her finger on the trigger. She's flagging people with a weapon. He He's brandishing in ways that I don't, I, I don't, I don't particularly, I'm not particularly happy with. Uh, I am a firm believer in the Second Amendment. I believe every American citizen who is healthy and adult and law-abiding should have a real assault rifle. I don't mean an AR-15. I mean an M4 or M16 that fires on that because I believe that, uh, like paying taxes and doing jury duty, defending your country, your community, your family is every American's duty. I, I like the Swiss model. You know, you have the rifle in the house. 
just in case things go to hell. Kurt, things are never going to go to hell. That's what I thought before I got called out for three weeks of duty during the Los Angeles riot with the 3rd Battalion, 160th Infantry. Um, but it is incumbent on us to, to do that in a way that is safe. I do not believe it was illegal. There is a very clear Castle Doctrine law. Some call them stand there, your ground law in Missouri, that you are allowed to defend your property when you're threatened. These rioters came in, and according to the McCluskeys, threatened them with death. Threatened their dog, man. You put the dog on the table, all right? You've gone to another level, okay? You want to threaten me, that's, that's a bad move. You want to threaten my family, that's a very bad move. You threaten a dog, that is likewise a bad move. We are Americans. You don't threaten families. You don't threaten dogs. And these people were scared. And, of course, Kim Gardner, who is the Soros-purchased district attorney, and they don't call it district, I think it's like circuit prosecutor or something, uh, for St. Louis, who has, rel- who has dropped charges against actual rioters, decides to charge these people with a felony. And now she says, very nice, well, I will allow a diversion program. And that's where you basically behave for a while and they dismiss the charges. Uh, that is baloney. And thankfully, the Republican administration in Missouri is not taking it. The governor says, look, they're never going to jail. I'm going to pardon them. The Attorney General has made a motion already. He's already filed a motion to dismiss this case. Now, I'm not sure how Missouri law works, if he has standing to do so, but hey, that's great news because here's here's what they're trying to do. By controlling prosecutors, they provide top cover for these rioters, but they also send a message, don't you dare defend yourself. Well, defending yourself is a natural right of every human being. And it is a right enshrined in our Constitution in the Second Amendment. And they want to tell you you can't do it. You can't. Now, keep in mind, the McCluskeys called the cops. And the cops were like, well, we're not coming. So there's kind of a social contract here. We give up a little, a few of our, uh, you know, normally it would be our prerogative to uh, enforce justice on our own. But we're going to give that up and allow the state to do it through its procedures. But we expect the state to do it. If the state says, well, I'm not going to do it, uh, and also you're not going to do it, that just doesn't work. There's a lot of chaos. And we're seeing it in Portland, of course. Now we have this, uh, we have this whole thing about unidentified federal officers or unidentified thugs hassling innocent protesters. We're going to talk a lot more about that with Andy McCarthy a little later this hour. Andy, no next hour. But that's just baloney. First of all, um, you, you, you see these senators like Kamala Harris, and they are sending out their little tweets in solidarity with the anarchist communist thugs. Unidentified, unidentified people, you know, kidnapping people off the street. Okay, they've got patches that identify their agency okay border patrol customs dea department of homeland security Uh, we will be talking with the acting secretary of uh, homeland security in the third hour chad wolf but uh, you know so so that's a lie that they're unidentified you know, kidnapping people. Okay, when you arrest someone for committing a federal crime, like attacking a federal officer or a federal building, that's not kidnapping. It's called an arrest. They hate, right? They hate that the feds are fighting back. Because like in Missouri, like in, like in St. Louis, in Portland, you have a DA. Well, you have a mayor who refuses to use the cops to protect citizens and you have a da who refuses to charge criminals feds don't play that game feds do not play that game if you commit a federal crime which includes crossing a state line to riot or using uh you know wires uh, that cross state line basically a cell phone you've committed a federal crime that's five years in the pen that's a real charge they don't like that so we need to do a lot more of it We're all about law and order here on the Hugh Hewitt Radio Program. I'm guest host Kurt Schlechter. 
Stick around. We got a lot more to come.